Fortnite is finally, officially returning to in-person events. And today, we're gonna talk about that. Earlier tonight, or yesterday, for you guys watching this when it's just dropped, Fortnite Competitive posted an incredibly important tweet for the future of Competitive. The tweet said the following, Fortnite returns to competing in person. The FNCS Invitational 2022 in North Carolina. As this is such an important announcement, I want to go in and read the full announcement for you guys. Don't worry, it's pretty short and sweet. Fortnite in-person events are back. We are excited to announce our plan to host the FNCS Invitational 2022 in person on November 12th and 13th in Raleigh, North Carolina, USA. Please note that our players' health and safety are the number one priority for holding any in-person event. If public health trends change, or regional laws or recommendations shift at any point this year, we may have to reschedule or change these plans. We will be inviting a selection of top FNCS duos from around the world who will have the opportunity to compete in a single lobby for a share of a $1 million prize pool. We plan to share more details on the FNCS Invitational 2022 in the coming months. What this means is that this is an invite-only tournament, and not an open tournament like FNCS or Cash Cups. That again begs the question, how can you get invited? As the announcement states, this is gonna be one set lobby of the top duos from all around the globe. The tournament will probably be mostly filled with players from EU and NA East, since those are the biggest regions. And the only way for you to participate is probably to get top 5 in the next grand finals. Or maybe, just maybe, even the one after that if that one concludes before the LAN. The tournament is in 5.5 months and will focus on this year's Duos FNCS tournaments. So even if you won two Trios FNCSs last year, but have done pretty bad in Duos FNCS this year, you unfortunately won't get invited. So how comes this is such a big deal for Fortnite's future? This is a massive deal. The first reason this is a big deal is because of how esports organizations work. Going to a LAN event to potentially win a share of a million dollars whilst representing the brand you're signed to is worth a lot to the organization. Just wearing the org's jersey and winning games, being live streamed, and potentially winning the entire tournament is gonna give a lot of orgs hope regarding the future of competitive Fortnite. What this, in essence, means is that more orgs over time will join the Fortnite community, and as a result of that, more people will be able to do Fortnite full time. Again, meaning that the opportunities in the game we all play will be expanded heavily as a result of this one single announcement. I've been saying this for some time now, but if you've ever been wanting to make a name for yourself in Fortnite, you better start now, because the real big tournaments are right around the corner. The second reason this is a huge deal is because I think we can all agree that we have been a little bit distressed about the constant decrease in prize pools recently. And for Fortnite to announce something that isn't even an FNCS for a million dollar prize pool really feels amazing and it feels like a massive step in the right direction. And we can't be nothing but grateful for this announcement. And I think that's all you need to know for now. If there's anything you have any questions about or anything you feel as though you would like to add, feel free to drop it in the comment section below. And other than that, please go on and have an amazing day, everyone. My name is Marin TM. Stay safe and take care.